hello you are once again welcome back to this channel as we continue with our solutions of the WASI 2021 general mathematics paper 2 question 10 a cyclist sets out from a town P on the bearing of 0, 060 0 degrees to a town Q five kilometers away. He then moves on the bearing of three four five degrees to a town R six kilometers from Q. Represent the information on a diagram. Calculate correct to two decimal places. The magnitude of PR, the bearing of R from P. So let's begin with the I representing the information on a diagram. So let's say this is where the town P is. Then the cyclist set out on a bearing of 60 degrees. So this is the north. So we measure 60 degrees from the north until we reach that line connecting the 60 degrees line. So that will give us this line here. So the angle from here to here is 60 degrees. So this is 60. Now we're also told that the distance is 5 kilometers. He then moves on the bearing of 345 degrees. So we are now here. So we are going to measure 345 from the north in the clockwise direction. So that is it from here to here. Good. Now, this is 345 degrees and the distance is 6 kilometers. So, this is now town R. The cyclist is now here. So, the, we have not gotten any other information again, so it means we can connect R and P like this. Good. So this is all the information we have. Let's see whether we can use it to calculate PR and the bearing of R from P. Now, we need to find out if one of the angles is 90 degrees the angles in triangle pqr so we know that from here to here is 60 so here will be 30. if here is 30 it means this place is also 30. this small angle here is 30. good so if that is the case then we can also calculate this angle here because we know that from this to this point is 3, 4, 5 degrees. Good. So if that is the case, we know that from this point to this point, the angle is 270. So the difference will be 345 minus 217, which is 75 degrees. So this small angle here is also 75 degrees. Now when we add the two angles, you realize that it's not 90 degrees. So it means we can use the Pythagoras theorem. We need to use the cosine rule. Pythagoras theorem is when the angle is 90. So we are using the cosine rule which says that 
this distance squared is like the Pythagoras theorem. But in that case, because the angle is 90, cos 90 is 0. So, if the angle is 90, we are always going to be left with the Pythagoras theorem. Because it's not 90, we have to fix that value of the angle there. So, in general, this is the formula you could use whether it is 90 or not. Uh -huh. This will give you the correct value, whether the angle, regardless of the angle, this will give you the correct calculation of the side length. If it is 90, we usually ignore this because cos 90 is 0, which will give us pr squared equal rq squared plus pq squared. Good. So if that is the case, we need to substitute this angle here, which is 30 plus 75, which is 105 over here. Then we substitute RQ. RQ is 6 and PQ is 5. So we do the substitution. Then we obtain this over here. Let me bring this. Good. So we do the substitution and we obtain this. So we have to simplify now 6 squared is 36, 5 squared is 25. Then the cosine of 105 with your calculator you get negative 0 0.25882. So that will give us this. When you add this and this, you get 61. Now we have to simplify further. To get 76.5292 because we are asked to correct to two decimal places you work at least four decimal at least two decimal places so four decimal places okay now let's take the positive square root of both sides since we are dealing with length and that will give us the pr to be equal to 8.748097 don't forget the requirement says two decimal places. So that will give us 8.75 kilometers since we have to run up. Now, we are going to the beta aspect. So this is for alpha. So the beta, for the beta aspect, the bearing of R from P. So the bearing of R from P means we start measuring the angle from p until we touch the line connecting r and p so we start from here until we meet here so we are finding this angle that is the bearing of r from p this angle here so how do we do that we know that from this point to this point is 60. so if we are able to find this angle here then it means we just have to take away this angle from 60. And we can do that. We can find that angle using the cos the sine rule. Because this triangle is not a right angle triangle, we can use the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, or the tangent ratio. But we have the sine rule that can help us. So according to the sine rule, the proportion of the angle sine of the angle over the opposite side are always equal so sine of p that is sine of this angle angle p is actually angle p sine of angle p over 6 is equal to sine of angle q which is sine of 105 over pr so pr is this i'm using the raw value instead of this so that will give us sine p sine of angle p is equal to 0 0.11042 times 6 cross multiply use calculator here so angle p is equal to sine inverse of this value we got from here so in actual fact p is equal to 41.4923 degrees that is angle P here. Yeah? So this angle is that. But we are looking for this. So we subtract it from 60. So the bearing of R from P is this. 
the angle in natural fat the angle is 18.5077 but the bearing the bearing is 018.51 since we are running to two decimal places so 018.51 degrees that is the bearing of r from p now let us go on with the b part the following are arranged in order of size it means they are either in ascending order or descending order so we have x minus 2 4 x plus 2 2 x plus 1 and 9 if the median is equal to the mean find the value of x so this is the data given to us it's already arranged so the median since we have one two three four five data points it means the median is the middle one which is this and so that is the median then the mean is the addition of all the data points divided by the number of items which is five so because they are equal we equate these two equations first we need to simplify this when you simplify this you get 4x plus 14 because we have x plus x is 2x plus 2x 4x then this negative 2 and 2 cancel we have 4 plus 1 plus 9 which is 14 so cross multiply expand then group like terms then x is equal to 4 thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet see you in another video now um, if you can still see this red in here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe